Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video for Wednesday, the 24th of November, getting set for Thanksgiving. By the way, we're going to a holiday schedule today, so we'll do one Weather Extreme video per day through Sunday. Get back to the regular two-a-day schedule Monday of next week when everybody's kind of back in place. A little foggy out there this morning. Check the uh, sky cam first off from downtown Clanton in Chilton County. Had a clear sky, light wind, wet ground. Temperatures dropping to the dew points. That's what happens. Up in Coleman, dense fog there down below that U.S. Highway 278. We'll check the uh, Birmingham sky cam. At least uh, there the fog is not too bad. That's looking right down 20th Street in the top of the Daniel Building. Things are evolving as forecast. Very cold trough in the west. A uh, very strong front kind of meandering back and forth ahead of that cold air. Uh, this morning, the analysis shows the surface boundary a little below here. And it is a little cooler this morning. We're in the 50s. But the really cold air, as you can see, is back up in uh, you know, Montana and uh, Wyoming up and through there. But, but you can see that front over Alabama is beginning to move north already as a warm front. And uh, that will be advancing up through Arkansas and Missouri today. And, and really, today should be relatively quiet weather-wise. Here's our numbers, and you can see it's as cool as 48 in Gadsden. Uh, Birmingham at 52, but notice how it's clearly warmer down to the southwest with those uh, shades of yellow. And again, that thing will be lifting north today. Real cold air in Montana again. Man, it's been cold this month up there. Snow, cold, brutal, just like January. Uh, see, uh, minus 12, minus 14. And again, uh, we'll just catch the edge of that air mass on Friday. Thank goodness. Not the thing in full force. All right, travelers. Many folks are hitting the road today. Over the river and through the woods to Grandmama's house you go. If you're going to Grandmama's house today in Little Rock or Tulsa or Springfield, Missouri, Columbia, Jefferson City, you might see some rough weather, a, a risk of severe weather out there. And, of course, that's in that uh, zone of the clashing air masses. So we'll keep an eye out and see how that develops. But uh, the good news around here, things should be pretty quiet today. In fact, let's go ahead and check the watch warning map. Let's look at the big picture. The real issue, it's going to be that blizzard out there in Utah and uh, Colorado. That's a mess. Um, Salt Lake City, if you're trying to fly in there today, good luck with that. And, of course, to the north, those are winter weather advisories. Uh, that cover a pretty good chunk of the upper Midwest, uh, winter storm warnings up near the Canadian border. But really notice how the eastern half of the nation is pretty quiet. We do have some flash flood watches for parts of Ohio and uh, Indiana, and that's about it. But again, generally speaking, travel's pretty decent across the deep south down here today, up the eastern seaboard. Uh, the big problems are out west and way up north in that snow area. Uh, all right, tomorrow, this is the uh, day two convective outlook for Thanksgiving Day. Uh, no formal risk, just the low-end 5% chance of severe weather west of here. Uh, Houston, Shreveport, Greenville, Mississippi, and even there it's a marginal threat. So we're pretty fortunate uh, that we've got so warm air out and going to make the transition to cold weather on Friday without a major severe weather risk. Could there be a strong storm late tomorrow night? Yes, but again, at this point, we don't expect any major severe weather issues. There's the rain for the next five days, valid through Sunday evening at 6 o'clock. The biggest numbers, Little Rock up to Pittsburgh. Around here, this is suggesting rainfall amounts of about one half inch, and that's probably about right. Maybe some heavier totals up there around the shoals up in northwest Alabama. All right, let's look at the GFS, the global forecast system, at noon today. Cold trough out west, down below that. Again, our weather should be pretty quiet. And as that front moves north, there might be a shower in spots. We've mentioned widely scattered showers, but nothing more than that. Better rain today, again, from uh, Dallas-Fort Worth up through uh, uh, St. Louis and Chicago. Very strong southerly flow out ahead of the uh, uh, cold front. Of course, the Arctic air is uh, off to the west and northwest. Uh, and Heavy snow develops over parts of Utah and Colorado. Tomorrow, Thanksgiving Day, uh, it looks pretty dry here, as you can see. Uh, again, we'll mention a Slight chance of a shower during the day, but I sure get the idea most folks will be dry and very mild. We're talking mid-70s. It will not feel like Thanksgiving. Uh, dew points in the upper 50s. Uh, so 
And the sun might be out at times. Uh, we'll say mostly cloudy, but again, a few peaks of sun are certainly possible. And then for uh, Friday, Iron Bowl Day, here comes the front, and it's coming on through. Uh, the main window for rain would seem to be from about midnight tomorrow night until noon Friday. And uh, again, you can see it's still a close call for the Iron Bowl, but a reasonable chance the rain will be over in time for the football game. Uh, let's look at the NAM. NAM is a little slower, a little wetter. Uh, th again, this is noon Friday. So the NAM solution would suggest, yeah, there could be some light rain lingering maybe in the first half. But this is encouraging. Look at the RPM model. Now, this is the rapid precision mesoscale model that we see in-house. And uh, uh, it's got very good resolution, and by golly, at noon on Friday, it's got the rain way out of here. I mean, we're talking down there at Dothan. So if you buy this one, there will be no rain for that game. Uh, so I think we'll mention, uh, obviously, cold is the deal. Uh, the uh, GFS is showing, in fact, it's showing a noon temperature in Tuscaloosa of 45 so um, and I think that's right. The, remember, remember, the models are not going to handle this. The cold air is going to be kind of shallow. So it might even be a, in the low 40s. But we'll say mid 40s for that game. It kick off dropping in the low 40s by the end of the game. Uh, the sky will be cloudy. It will be kind of damp. It will be windy. A strong northwest wind of 12 to 22. That's going to make it raw. And uh, again, I can't rule out some chance of light rain during the first half. But hopefully it's not going to do that. Now, Saturday starting off the weekend, much brighter. The sun will be back. We'll be in the 20s to start the day. We'll rise into, rise into the mid to upper 50s. And Sunday looks great. Lots of sun with low 60s. All right, Monday of next week, next big trough coming. Uh, down below that, uh, the gulf is wide open. Southerly winds, showers and storms erupt off to the west. And by Tuesday, that stuff is in here. So Monday night and Tuesday of next week, uh, that might offer... Uh, strong storms with that. And again, we'll fine tune that. The, the SPC does not define any risk out there in that day four through eight time frame, but that looks pretty wet. That might bring us over, well, one to two inches of rain. And then Wednesday of next week, that looks cool and dry. All right, December 5th. You know, we've seen looks out here, uh, crazy stuff, you know, blizzard, snow. But again, the last couple of runs have Show nothing, uh, just a little bit of light rain. But a couple of days later, the next impulse comes in, and that's the one that the model's been identifying. It's just a little later on this one, and on the 7th. This one has a similar look, you know, surface load developing from the northeastern gulf, rolling up the Atlantic seaboard, and maybe somebody getting snow across the deep south. So, again, the consistency has been pretty good out there in the uh, December, I don't know, 5th through the 10th time frame, but uh, that is still absolute hocus-pocus. And then on the 9th, we're cool and dry. NAO, negative the whole time. And you can see, go back to uh, you know August back in the summer, and it's kind of flat line, and all of a sudden you get that big downward spike here. So if nothing else, that would probably make for some more interesting weather and cold shots in here. So it should be fun to watch the weather in coming weeks, which is what we do here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. Uh, the next video will be at some point tomorrow on Thanksgiving Day. We'll crank it out for you. Not exactly sure when. Uh, Friday, we'll do it really early as we uh, kind of get back on the radio schedule. But if you're in uh, locally in town here, we'd love to have you on television this evening with us. That's ABC 3340 News in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Be safe if you're traveling, and God bless.